this three-way dance to kick off Five Bar Wrestling. Die trying. And TJ Marconi, he just gets duped by your friendly neighborhood psychopath Smiley with the quick skills in the ring, and outside the ring for that matter. As DJ Hyde recovers on the outside, it's Smiley and Marconi. Smiley, the smallest competitor in this match, but certainly not an underdog. This guy can go. He can hang with the best of them. He's, a, he's, he's good with the high flyer. He's good with the heavyweights. If there was a version of a five-tool athlete in pro wrestling, Smiley would be your guy. Oh, and look at that. Springboard back handspring. Punch to the face. He wanted to put a smile on that face, and now he just stomps him in the back. When stomps to the head become illegal in some places, the Indies does them over and over again because we like it and the fans love it. This action continues. DJ Hyde recovering on the outside. Triple threat rules, one fall to a finish. But Smiley, oh, he just gets a vicious, vicious double boot stomp into the corner. That's 280 pounds, but Larry DJ Hyde working like a cruiserweight. Uh-oh. Is it a sharpshooter? Is it a... Submission ending victory right here. Oh, look at Smiley. And a big chop from Smiley. DJ Hyde, though, he's not affected by it. DJ Hyde, he's literally been in wars in the ring. Smiley liked that very much. Back to Bill on the ropes. Irish whip. Here comes DJ Hyde. Oh, but it's tree chopping time. Smiley taking the legs out of the big man. Woo. Double your pleasure, double your fun. And there go the guardrails. Here goes the neighborhood. What happens in Brooklyn stays in Brooklyn. No, what happens in Brooklyn goes on YouTube. And Smiley tried that high fat flying approach and uh, the Larry just too strong and a big Yakuza kick from TJ Marconi what goes up must go over Smiley reverses it knocks him in the back of the head into the corner This is what the fans pay their hard-earned money to see on a Friday night delight here in Brooklyn, baby. And we're just getting started.
He's got that look in his eye. He's ready to kick it up into a six gear. Here comes the Lariat. But Smiley moves out of the way. Strength versus speed. Strength tends to win every time. That full Nelson suplex. Lands Smiley right on his head. That might have been the move that sent him back to the Fairchild Asylum for the mentally deranged. Smiley needs to be in a white rubber room just for getting in the ring with an animal like the Lariat. Boy, Smiley! Crucifix! He gets it! Trying event. And there goes the referee. Uh oh, TJ Marconi says it's not going to end well. What goes up must go down. Good times only. TJ Marconi going to have a good time. Even if he didn't win the match. the match thought that they had the uh, advantage but it was Smiley proving to be the victor. More action coming up next.